Hey everyone, hope you are having an amazing day. It's Tom. Today's episode name is Mysterious Portal Amarumuru. In 1996, climbing guide Jose Luis Delgado explored the Peruvian landscape when he accidentally discovered an area where the huge red rock had been smoothed to a flat surface with a carved knee shape like a door that seemed to lead nowhere. The flat stone is today better known as Aramumuru, located in majestic mountain of Hayumarca, a harsh mountain along the shores of Lake Titicaca. Surrounded by a mysterious, this mythical door are visible for miles around. And just a short distance from this lake is the mysterious stone. Object is about 7 square meters and it is carved into a T-shaped niche about 2 meters high. Among the locals this unknown Inca structure is called as Amaru Muru. This is the original name which is almost lost in history. It is not known what purpose the door once served but the most likely explanation is that it was an abandoned Inca building project, although there is no evidence about it. The hollows are carved on both sides several meters in height. The frame of the entrance resembles a giant funnel in shape, while the door itself is large enough for an average sized man can go through. At the height of your belly you can see a small circular recess that has unknown purpose while the narrowing of the frame seems to be made to fall into your hands as a support. Unexplained mystery is the presence of so-called piezoelectric phenomenon, which may be behind the anomalies observed in this structure. Piezoelectric effect is an ability of crystal to generate an electrical voltage when it is deformed. The best known piezoelectric substance is monocrystalline quartz, which means crystal. An example of where this effect occurs is typical of these crystals and sometimes bones. However, none of these things are visible at or around this gate. We only know the application of this effect in radar, lidar, wires from computers, televisions, radios, watches, microphones, laser printers, sonar, ultrasound and lighters. At the Talcadi temple in Malta, positive testing has been made out on the phenomenon of the piezoelectric effect which responds to music. In Amaru Muru, we commonly encounter response on music or humming that activates the gate. Even activation through singing or loud speaking or continuous sound is possible. Most locals do not want to enter in this door at any cost. To this day, the true purpose of Amarumuru remains completely unknown. There are no written records of any kind, which is generally a common problem with all things concerning Inca culture and their ancestors. In addition, there are doubts that the gate was carved out by the Incas, although they probably used it in some way. Most likely, gate was here long before the Incas. Other stone gates can be found around Lake Titicaca, which dates back to around 1200 AD. However, in case of Amarumuru, we will never know, because no organic materials were found near the gate. Archaeologists have nothing to determine the age of this construction, and so speculation and theory have arisen in recent years. In fact, shamans reuse this place for ceremonies of their own way. The locals said to call the door Puerta de Hayu Marca, which means Gate of the Gods. And local legends clearly speak of people disappearing through the door and other strange stories. For example, about tall men accompanied by glowing balls of light passing through a door, something like an entrance to another world, an entrance to the golden underworld or a stargate for aliens. Locals also believe that if someone stands inside the gate of Amarumuru, puts both hands in door frame 
and presses his belly into a circular alcove, it will cause contact with another world. Strange visions will appear. You will hear a sound of another world and for few lucky people the gate will open. However, there is another explanation. Amarumuru was the name of the very important priest from the so-called Temple of Seven Rays. According to legend, he fled from the Spanish conquerors and he tried to hide the golden sun disk, the most important Inca artifact of all time. Legend said that he escaped with the treasure into a mountains of Hayumarca and disappeared through this gate along the shores of the lake Titicaca into another world. No one has ever seen him since. So the place got its current name Amarumuru, which means fleeing priest. Whether this really happened today can be confirmed, although the fact still remains that the golden sun disk was never found, although it apparently exists. In addition, there are people who do not doubt that the gateway is some kind of portal. Paranormal writer Jerry Willis, for example, claims that he even walked through the door. Personally, I won't tell you if this portal works or not, but I'll always in such case say, if you don't try it, you will never know. Huge thanks for watching this video, and if you like it, Please remember to give it thumbs up, leave comments below, I would love to read it from you. And if you are not subscribed, click subscribe. And also click the little bell icon, so you will immediately get the notification the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next video.